The United States International University has had a remarkable journey since its inception in the late 1960s. Join me, Joy Opio, as I take you through the 40-year experience that the university has had. Dr. William Rust, a man unknown to many, had a vision to bring together people of the world based on the belief that neither nations nor individuals can flourish in isolation. USIU Nairobi was founded in 1969 when it was granted a presidential charter by the then president Mzee Jomo Kenyatta. USIU was actually begun in 1969 and was established under the Companies Act and was given a charter to operate by then President Jomo um, Kenyatta. In 1970, they actually purchased land um, in what is now the um, ISK campus. They had a 185 acre coffee farm. And in around 1972, they opted to sell that property to uh, the Canadian and American government and uh, that was then converted into ISK. They then moved to a series of different locations and uh, including a, a house in Parklands and finally were set up in 1982 by the then campus director D. Aker who um, set it up at uh, what was then known as the Mayfair Hotel, uh, and it later became the Holiday Inn and now is Southern Sun Hotels. The um, campus stayed there up until 1991. Uh, in 1991, Dr. Lillian Bean, the director of the campus at that time, uh, purchased the property that it's on now here in Kasarani. There was 20 acres at that time. And the campus moved to this location. By 1979, the course offerings and programs had been increased so that the entire four years plus a master's degree could be completed in Kenya. 1979, therefore, was a landmark year in USIU's history as it held its first graduation, seeing a graduating class of 23 students. The 1980s saw the first woman executive director of the campus, Diana D. Aker. She was succeeded in 1984 by Dr. Lillian Kennedy Bean, who took over as executive director of USIU Africa. She described herself as having four major obstacles. She was black, a woman, petite, and intelligent. During her tenure as executive director, she oversaw a rapid expansion of student population to approximately 750 students. In 1993, the library, a beautiful three-story wood and stone building, was opened and dedicated as the Dr. Lillian Kennedy Beam Library. USIU's current Vice Chancellor, Professor Frida Brown, joined the campus in 1994. Professor Brown had been a faculty member in USIU San Diego until her appointment as the Vice Chancellor. During this period, the campus underwent various developments which included the completion of the administration block, more lecture rooms, a cafeteria, a second hostel block, and the School of Arts and Sciences which at the time hosted all the faculty members. USIU is the only university in Kenya that has received dual accreditation. In the year 1999, USIU was awarded the charter by the then president, His Excellency Daniel Arap Moy. The charter was awarded as a confirmation of having met the requirements for higher education in Kenya as set out by the Commission of Higher Education. The university also holds a charter from the USA by the Western Association of Schools and Colleges. 
The School of Business recently changed its name to the Chandaria School of Business in recognition of Dr. Manu Chandaria's efforts as a partner of USIU. The school provides students with a range of knowledge, skills, and problem-solving abilities to respond to the need for successful management of business organizations in a changing global environment. The school offers the following undergraduate and graduate programs. Bachelor of Science in International Business Administration Bachelor of Science in Business Administration Bachelor of Science in Hotel and Restaurant Management Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management Master of Business Administration Global Executive Master of Business Administration Executive Master of Science in Organizational Development Bachelor of Science in Accounting The School of Science and Technology prepares graduates for professional success by equipping them with clear and proven abilities in application of knowledge of science, communication, and technology in order to create a better world. They offer the following programs. Bachelor of Science in Information Systems and Technology Bachelor of Arts in Journalism The School of Humanities and Social Sciences provides programs with an international perspective by emphasizing the importance of community service and citizenship in the global community. The school offers the following programs Bachelor of Arts in International Relations Master of Arts in International Relations Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, Masters of Arts in Counseling Psychology, Bachelor of Arts in Criminal Justice. Um, USAU is um, a higher uh, education institution that stands for academic excellence. Uh, it gives uh, quality education that is um, uh, met for the job market. We train uh, students who then are able to have uh, an all-encompassive education. Um, we have seen an expansion, for example, in the number of degree courses that are offered. The latest inclusion, of course, is the Bachelor of Arts in Criminal Justice, which started in spring 2010 after a long journey. We are also anticipating to start um, uh, the Bachelor of Arts, I mean, Bachelor of Science degree in pharmacy. Uh, in January. USIU's faculty are dedicated, ethical, progressive, and highly active academic professionals who view themselves as stakeholders of the university. They are devoted to the provision of knowledge with a global perspective that takes into account the balance between theory and practice. Their mission is to promote learning through the provision of a rigorous, holistic academic experience intended to heighten a sense of curiosity among students and increase their ability to carry out their own learning in a professional and responsible manner. USIU has a number of outstanding faculty members. Joe Carthy is a journalism lecturer who specifically lectures on news writing and reporting and media law and ethics. He is one of the most decorated journalists in Africa in terms of both expertise and experience. He joined the Nation Media Group in the 1960s and rose through the ranks to become the group's managing editor by the 80s. He then retired from the Nation and went into lecturing first at the University of Nairobi and then at USIU. He is a member and consultant of the Media Council of Kenya. In terms of structural architecture, few universities can match USIU. The structural quality, creativity and uniqueness in design is simply phenomenal. We have had a glimpse of where we have come from and a taste of where we are now. Let us delve deeper into the university's endeavors and raise the curtains to reveal the university's prospects for a brighter future in quality education. Research is the cornerstone of all academic discoveries. At USIU, academic research is central to our programs and our mode of operation. One of the things that we decided uh, that we'll be doing 
was actually focused on applied research. What that means is that uh, our research is going to focus on decision makings uh, or actually doing research that inform to policies that need to be implemented so that we actually solve the current problems that uh, the country or society faces. Because our belief is that uh, in a teaching environment, uh, the student is both involved in the production along with the faculty or the professor. And so research is where both parties can uh, produce that new knowledge. And of, obviously it benefits the university because it's creating the knowledge, but it also generates revenues, uh, revenues that can expand into other programs, uh, uh, new programs uh, like research centers. So that is good, but ultimately it's society. The USIU Auditorium is a world-class facility that is fully equipped with up-to-date conference and audiovisual equipment. The auditorium is used for official university activities like seminars, club meetings, theater productions, and entertainment events. The charter by the Commission of Higher Education required that the university build an auditorium that could hold a third of its total population. Consequently, the auditorium was built in 2003. However, the most magnificent structure put up in USIU is its library. Its architectural design is sleek, modern, unique, and altogether a masterpiece. The library was opened in September 2007 by His Excellency the President Mwai Kibaki. The new USIU library is a modern state-of-the-art information center providing a full range of high-quality services based on both print and electronic media to university students, faculty, staff, alumni, and external readers from other universities both in Kenya and the East African region. I was privileged to attend the USIU Maktaba Award presentation where the USIU emerged as the best library in the country. And I believe it is the best in Africa, if not in the world. The world is fast changing and technology is the way forward in today's changing global economy. Consequently, the university has made immense efforts in the laying out of IT infrastructure in the school. Its Information, Communication and Technology Center is in a class of its own. It is housed in the Lillian Kennedy Beam Building, which was previously known as the Lillian Kennedy Beam Library. USIU boasts of some of the fastest internet downloading speeds seen anywhere in the region. I will tell you that the capacity we have in terms of servers and bandwidth is enormous. Even if we doubled the number of programs, and put them on the server, we would still have resources to spare. The good thing about this, whether it is videos, movies, audio, cartoons, whatever sort of material they want to load onto Blackboard to make the learning environment interactive, um, the limit is their creativity, the limit is their imagination. On the student side, it's basically a matter of convenience. Whether you're in Kenya, Korea, Kisumu, you can access your material, you can download it, you can submit assignments, you can get your reminders, and basically continue your education, especially for students who are working, and um, it involves a lot of travel, and yet they're determined to complete their education. The ICT Center is fully equipped with state-of-the-art computer lecture labs for those students pursuing information systems and technology. The complex also has excellent video and sound editing suits, a print content creation room, a radio studio from where USIU 99.9 FM broadcasts. You're tuned into USIU Radio 99.9 FM, information to take you places. All under the journalism program. Journalism and IST lecturers' offices are found on the top floor of the complex. Currently, the school has 700 computers 
vis-a-vis 4,685 students, effectively ensuring that every student in the university has first-hand computer access. This is a clear message by the university of the plans it has for computer technology development in the future. I joined USIU in 1995. I got in to do IBA with a major in finance. I like the fact that we worked in teams and in groups. That made me open up much more. The presentations we had in class, the non-core subjects I would say, brought me out really to express myself, engage with others that I liked. The mode of study, a lot of research, a lot of uh, contribution in class, working with the lecturers, that also has been a contributor to where I am right now. I remember at the time the internet was a thing, a new thing to all of us. And I think there was like one or two computers in the computer lab. So one of the lecturers went like, I need you to finish this research paper and you need to quote at least five sites in the website that you have referred to to complete the paper. It was agony. And no other university was requiring this of their students. So what differentiated USIU then, and I also understand till now, was the ability to embrace change and technology faster than the other universities that were available. No other university had embraced technology. The other thing I would praise USIU for, of course, the library. That library is out of this world. State-of-the-art uh, library, it was excellent. And I just asked, what else can I do in this campus just to be in there? These are just but a few. I'm sure there's so many other things that uh, would make one really be proud of having been a member of this 40-year journey with USIU. USIU is the most culturally diverse university in Kenya. Approximately a quarter of the total university's population is international. The university caters for them through the International Students' Office in the school and the International Students' Club. Comprehensive education goes hand in hand with a whiff of socialization. That said, the University Student Council organizes social events such as Mr. and Miss USIU every year. The winners have the honor of representing USIU in consequent university pageants in the country and in Africa. Some of the more outstanding contestants over the years include Faith Kathungu, who won Miss USIU 2006 and went on to be crowned Miss University Africa in 2007. Helen Dawson won Miss USIU 2007. Well, Mr. and Miss USIU, I won Miss USIU 2007, 2008. Then I went forward for the national pageant for all universities in Kenya. That was for Mr. and Miss University Kenya. Then I won that award as well. Then I got into modeling here and there. Then for 2010 now, I won Miss Universe Tanzania. I did charity at Brain House Academy. Actually, the Miss Universe, Miss and Miss USIU, um, they were like our, the, our beneficiaries that time. So whatever we got from the pageants, the money and everything, we had to buy furnitures and books for the school, the Brain House Academy. You have to really have the passion for what you're doing because anything you're doing, it's all about passion. If you don't have it, then you won't do it. And having the interest and making time for everything. Community service is one of USIU's fundamental pillars as an institution. Every undergraduate student has to complete at least 90 hours of community service at some point as part of his or her coursework and degree requirements. In line with this, every fall semester, the university celebrates Frida Brown Day. On this day, students voluntarily turn up, usually in large numbers, and complete a few hours of community service in various needy organizations. Most recently, students went to Treeside School for the Mentally Challenged in Kasarani and helped clean up the compound and later donated some orthopedic equipment to the home. USIU has an exceptional exchange program. Every year, a number of students are sent out to other universities to study abroad for a semester. It began in 2002 and started off as an inter-campus exchange whereby students from the Nairobi campus were sent to the sister campuses in San Diego and in Mexico. The exchange program has since grown immensely and the number of schools that students are being sent out to has increased. Possible destinations for students who wish to go for exchange are North Central College, Lincoln University, Sunny Cortland, all in the United States, Kansai Gadai in Japan, Linus in Sweden, Bremen University in Germany, and St. John University in UK. 
USIU receives around 20 study abroad and exchange students each year and sends out about 15 exchange students in the fall semester. The exchange program has opened up several opportunities for students whereby they have benefited through internships in those countries and even gone back to those universities for their masters. The level of experience and exposure gained from the exchange experience is quite remarkable. Plans are underway to introduce an electronic learning program where students will receive and submit all their course content online. This will eliminate the need to be present at the campus at all times. Non-academically, the school plans to set up a student center where majority of all student extracurricular activities will be carried out. This building will also house the student council offices. The university projects in the next five years, student numbers will have risen from the current 4,685 to about 8,000. The Alumni Association of USIU is a powerful network of more than 8,000 members. It represents, promotes, and facilitates the interests of USIU alumni and enhances relationships between alumni and the university. Some of USIU's alumni are famous and accomplished members of the society. USIU was one of the most fantastic experiences for me. It's what has made me who I am today. It's not about the academics. Yes, I graduated 3.6 GPA, but that's not really what has gotten me where I am today. What it is is, it's the network you, you create whilst you're in school. It is the people who become your friends, the people who you get to know intimately. Getting more from the faculty, getting more from the staff, getting more from the administration. It's, it's that inter-exchange inter of ideas that is going to make you be the person you become. Also have fun. All work and no play does make Jack a dull boy. <laughs> Building a career, it's not all about getting out of school, getting a job and making money. It's not about the money. If you chase the money in the beginning, you'll get some money, but you're not going to have fun in what you do. I think in the, in the long term, USIU can really become a comprehensive university. Historically, we have, have focused primarily on um, professional programs, and I think we will continue in that vein. But I think there is a need for a very strong uh, private university in this country that has a very strong base liberal arts uh, program. And, and I think that over time, um, we have the beginnings of very um, strong academic programs in this country. Um, we have good, strong faculty, and I hope the legacy that I leave will be that, that that faculty will expand and get even more actively involved in doing research. And USIU becomes a university that's known as a center of excellence in a variety of programs. What a journey it has been, and what a journey it will continue to be. We toast to a fantastic university. We toast to a great 40 years. Happy 40th anniversary, USIU.